Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about how to save data locally in Flutter app using Shared Preference. So, first of all, for that, you need to install this package, Shared Preference, and I will put the link on GitHub and will share the link in the description box with you. So, this is my home screen. This is the particular screen, and inside that. I have uh, created taken a four text field and these are the text editing controllers. Our text edit editing controllers are basically used to get whatever we type inside the text field. So this is for name, this is for designation, this is for salary, and this is for experience. So let's move towards basic uh, UI. This is scaffold and this is the color and then padding then center then single child scroll view i have used suppose if you have more than four text fields uh, like eight ten and if you will press type here something and uh, there won't be any space then it will keep overflow error that is why i i have used here single child scroll view so that it is scrollable and it won't give you error so that is why i have used your single child scroll view so and then card then padding this is the padding and then this is the column side column i have taken four text field including this icon and this title so this is the icon this is the title and this is the text field for name and inside input decoration i have used here in text and prefix icon this is the another one for designation this is the third one for salary and this is one for experience and lastly there is a elevated button and there is some, some 30 space between last text field and this button so this is the space that i've used here and lastly this is the elevated button and inside this elevated button these are the basic designs and inside on press i have used your focus scope of context and focus to remove uh, this keypad whenever i am pressing on this button because i don't want to navigate to another screen while my keypad is opening so this line is to dismiss the key keypad basically so what i will do when i will press this button so what i want i want to save all the four data which is inside this text field inside uh, the shared preference and when uh, the data is saved then we will move to detail screen and in the detail screen we will show the same data by using shared preference so first of all i am creating the instance of shared preference this is how you can create it this is await it, it will require a wait so we will have to use a sync then my data is a string type that is why i'm using a string you can use whatever type of data you have like string boolean double integer or list you can also save here so for now i am getting string data that is why i'm saving it and it generally save the data with the help of key and value pair so this is the name text controller dot text whatever i will type inside this text field it will be hit with the help of this controller name text controller dot text that i have created earlier above right here so and it will save by the key name and same for the de designation salary and experience once it is saved then we will navigate to next screen which is detail screen so let's let's move forward to so this is screen and one more thing make sure that your menu compile sdk version is 33 otherwise it will give error and this is my detail screen and already i have created four variable you can uh, if you are assured that the data will come as a string then you can use string here i have used variable so there is no problem with that and inside this init state, I'm calling get saved method. 
this is the method where I am getting the data from the shared preference that I have saved in this screen. So this is the uh, I have again created the instance of shared preferences. Now inside this name variable I am calling get string prep dot get string and with the same key that I have used here for name I have used your name for designation I have used your designation keyword make sure the spelling of this key is matches with all these ones like experience salary designation name so this is our key which will provide the same value that I have entered here so after getting the values inside these variables call this set state set state will load the screen once again and will show the data properly wherever you will use and inside this scaffold background is again i have used to match the previous screen this is center this is inside the column i have used here center because i want to show the details personal details that i am filling here in the center of the screen i am simply using text field with text uh, font size of 20 so this is the name designation salary experience i'm showing you you can use this data like get save data you can create this method in any of the screen and you can use the value of uh, the saved data locally in in every part of your application where you want to use it i will put the description uh, i will put the uh, code in on github and will share the link with you people you can easily copy paste my code uh, uh, let's run this let me type like uh, test flutter name is test flutter designation is flutter developer the salary 10 lpa i don't have right now and experience is of two years okay now when i'm going to press this save button keypad is gone and there is the data that i am fetching inside this detail screen so you can use this data according to your requirement and you can the ui or screen design according to your requirement so that's it for now hope to see you next time in our next video make sure to like and subscribe my channel bye for now